Take the crown, drag them down Take the crown to show them how We're taking the crowd crowns, break them down Hang them on the bedroom wall We're dancing with to this inaugural edition of XCW Vortex. I am your host, Fletch, and we are on for an amazing ride here in the eye of the storm that we call XCW Vortex. Of course, if you guys watched over the winter, you've seen this innovative storm that has never been taking place here in XCW and Encounters. Well, that storm ha has gone from rain to the vortex and now we are in the middle of the storm we are in the eye of the storm xcw vortex we're not going to waste any more time we're going to get right in to this storm two amazing matches for us here tonight at xcw vortex let's kick it off right now a match that we have not seen since 2017 at ground zero and uh it's going to be tommy the man merriman going one-on-one -on -one with DJ Wolbert. Yes. Do not sleep on this match, ladies and gentlemen. This match is a match of epic proportions. Immediately, it's an instant classic. Let's get right to it. Tommy the Man Merriman going one-on-one -on -one with DJ Wolbert. Ladies and gentlemen, DJ Wolbert on his way 
to the ring to do battle with Tommy the Man Merriman here on XCW Vortex in our inaugural episode DJ Wolbert the first superstar to be featured and I cannot wait to see this match the last time that these two went face to face was all the way back in 2020 at the Ground Zero Quarantine and tonight these guys finally go one on one again and Tommy Merriman has to keep it in his mind that this is not the same DJ Wilbert that we've seen four years ago. This is an evil DJ Wilbert, a, a man who has owned his craft and could easily get a win against Tommy Merriman here tonight. Wahlberg, you scrawny little puny fuck you. It's gonna be a quick one, two, three, guys. He's quick, but I'm quicker. I'm the man, baby. An overly confident Tommy the Man Merriman coming to the ring with some words for DJ Wahlberg. And Tommy talks about DJ's quickness is that he is quicker because he is the man. Not sure that that's exactly true, but. We're going to find out tonight here on XCW Vortex. I think he's going to try to mess me up on this one, too. Look at him. He looks mysterious. And, of course, when we did talk about speed, speed advantage obviously would probably go to DJ Wahlberg. But the power game is definitely in the court of Tommy the Man Merriman. So this is easily a match of speed versus power, and it makes you wonder which one prevails here tonight. Tommy Merriman having his issues with uh, referee Steve-O. As Steve-O checks it. Well, attempts to check it. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Tommy Merriman, DJ Wolver, one on one, here on XCW Vortex. Our very first episode of Vortex. DJ immediately shows that speed, goes low on Tommy Merriman, and he's kind of setting the pace for what could happen here in this match. Tommy goes for him again. The quickness of DJ Wolver goes underneath, and he's going for kicks. He's going low on Tommy Merriman, and that's probably a smart decision by DJ to go low. On Tommy Merriman, keep it, keep Tommy grounded. And Tommy, he's got no. He caught him. He caught DJ Wilbur. He went to the top. What is he doing here? Oh my God! Tour violence. One, two, and a kick out. Let's see that again. Look at this. Oh my God! He about turned DJ Wilbur inside out with that tour violence. Unbelievable action to kick us off here on XCW Vortex. And Tommy now. Here's that power I was talking about. There's the kill switch. Could this be enough? Two. No. DJ Wilbert, not that easy. And Tommy Merriman is upset. He went for the kill switch. But it didn't work out. DJ with a roll up now. One. Two, Tommy kicks out at two. It's going to take a little more than that to put both these men away. Drop kick from Wilbert. Since Tommy Merriman into the corner. Merriman now in the corner. DJ with a back elbow across the face of Tommy the Man Merriman. Oh, nice job by DJ Wilbert. Can that be enough? to put away Tommy Merriman. One, two, it's not. Let's see that again, look at that. Look at the agility, look at the quickness from DJ Wolbert. And it almost put Tommy Merriman away here on the very first XCW Vortex. 
DJ now with a headlock on Tommy Merrill. And oh my god, side suplex from Merriman. And that definitely did some damage to DJ Wilbur. That may slow DJ down a bit in this matchup. Hard right hand sends DJ to the corner. But DJ comes firing with another drop kick. Levels Tommy the Man Merriman. And DJ's looking to put him away here. He's going to top. And no, 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 Tommy. No way, Tommy just flipped it over. Could it be the Cyclone? Fitting for this show, Vortex. Two, and that's it. Unbelievable match between these two. But it's Tommy Merriman and EDW that stands tall here on Vortex. A huge congratulations to Tommy Merriman for an epic win here on our inaugural Coach, edition. Quick one, two, three, baby. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a short commercial break. When we come back, we have your main events. Let's go. Can't stop me, can't stop me. 그래도 일단 뒤지 봐. Oh, get ready, get ready, dreaming every year. Get ready, get ready, dreaming every year. Can't stop me, can't stop me. 나를 이끌 봐봐. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Thank you for joining us here on XCW Vortex. You just seen Tommy Merriman going one-on-one -on -one with DJ Wolbert and what I said was an instant classic. Now, our main event is also an instant classic. We struck gold with this episode of Vortex, the inaugural episode. And uh, our main event doesn't sound that great on paper. But wait until you watch. It is Jackson Law, the EBW champion, going one on one with Shane Shaw. No disqualification. You heard that right. No disqualification. EBW champion Jackson Law, one on one with Shane Shaw. Let's get right into it. This match is going to take you on a ride in which you didn't think you were going to see. So let's get to it. Main event time here on XW Vortex. And there we hear the ominous music of one Shane Shaw who has had quite a few issues within his camp, the unholy. Of course, him and DJ Wilbert seemingly cannot get along whatsoever. And also, he's being blamed for their loss against Mitchell Maverick and Julian Floyd Jacobs, which seen Candy take her services elsewhere. Is he to blame? And there he is, ladies and gentlemen, the law of the land, Jackson Law. And of course, if you did not catch XCW Take Over the World, go back and catch that show now. 
at the end of the match between Brogan O'Shea and Patrick O'Reilly, Mr. Money in the Bank himself, Jackson Law would run to the ring and cash in his Money in the Bank on the EBW World Championship. Now, people are wondering, it's the XCW Money in the Bank, the that count for EBW Championships? And, and yes, the EBW Championship was being defended on an XCW television show, which means it's free game. And regardless of all of that, Jackson Law is now a world heavyweight champion. And right there it is. The EBW Championship is now firmly in the grasp of the law of the land. However, tonight, it's not about EBW. It's not about the EBW Championship. This is about Jackson Law one-on-one -on -one with Shane Shaw. No rules, no disqualification in this match. The bell sounds, and here we go. Law and Shaw, one-on-one. -on -one. And there's a tie-up. And obviously, Jackson Law is going to outpower Shane Shaw by quite a bit. And he's showing that right now. He's just toying with Shane Shaw in the corner here. Oh, huge chop from Wall. Wall into the corner. Huge splash. And brings him out. Nice bulldog. Great start for Jackson Wall. Not so much for Shane Shaw, who, like I said, Shane has had quite a few issues lately, mostly in this in the unholy camp. Shaw to the outside of the ring. What is Jackson gonna do with Shaw here on the outside of the ring? Look at that ominous, evil look on the face of Jackson Law as he's got a leather strap and we've seen those leather straps come into play at TakeOver the World in the match between Eric Mason. Oh, super kick! With the match between Leon Lux and Eric Mason, if you've not seen it, go back and watch Take Over the World now on XC Wrestling 1. And now, nice job by Shane Shaw going to work on the knee of Jackson Law, trying to ground Law, the bigger man, as he just whips him with those belts. Shane Shaw now on top in this match. Well, I spoke too soon. Irish Whip from Jackson Law sends Shane Shaw into the corner post. And that is going to do some damage, ladies and gentlemen. And oh, look at this. Jackson Law ripping and tearing at the face of Shane Shaw here. What is that? Some kind of some kind of wire or something. And he's got it across the mouth, across the face of a bloody Shane Shaw here. Already, ladies and gentlemen, this no disqualification match is getting out of control. Well, rolls Shaw back into the ring. And that is a, a metal bucket with some of the ring tools come in. Shane Shaw is trying to get the XCW Galaxy behind him here. And oh no, look at all the... What is this? I don't know what they are, ladies and gentlemen, but they... They look pretty sharp. They may be like balloon holders, it looks like. Jackson now. Oh my god! Long arm of the wall. Down on those sharp objects in the ring. This is it for Shane Shaw, ladies and gentlemen. He's gonna put him away to no! Shaw kicked out. What resilience from Shane Shaw to kick out of that long arm of the wall. And oh! Jawbreaker from Shaw 
And jabs from Shane Shaw to the face of Jackson Wall. And a close one. Shane Shaw is fighting back. Is it going to be enough to put away Jackson Law? And it's not. A quick one count sees Jackson Law kicking out here. Both men trying to get back to their feet. And oh, the bucket to the face! Jackson Law smacks that bucket across the face of Shane Shaw. No. What is what is Law thinking of? No, no, no. Oh, back body drop from Shane Shaw. A back body drop from Shane Shaw. Jackson Law lands on all those sharp particles in the ring. One, two, and a kick out. It's not going to be enough to put away Jackson Law here. And Shaw now stomping away at the knee. Again, trying to work on the knees of Jackson Law to keep him grounded, which is a smart move by Shane Shaw. Stomping at nothing. to keep Jackson Law grounded. Right now it's working. Can Shane capitalize on this? Shane with a hip attack here. Another hip attack. Oh, and an uppercut. Oh, and a stunner from Shane Shaw. Goes for a second, and it's got Jackson Law rocked. Is this the opening the Shane Shaw needed? Shaw trying to get to Jackson Law, but it's not going to be enough. Law slowly goes to the outside of the ring, creates distance, which is going to make life a little harder for Shane Shaw. Both men now on the outside. This could easily not fare well for either man. As Law once again just raking the face of Shane Shaw. Jackson Law now. Oh, with a license plate across the back of the head. to the face with that license plate. No, Shane Shaw. Shane Shaw steals it away. And now Jackson Law is getting a taste of his own medicine. That license plate across the face. And Shane Shaw is hitting everywhere on the big target that is Jackson Law. What in the hell? Oh, Shane Shaw trying to blind the wall of the land. Spraying some cologne, some some body spray into the face of Jackson Law. Law doesn't know where he's at. He can't see a nonchalant pin from Shane Shaw. Doesn't do much damage. Or enough damage, I should say, to put away Jackson Law. Now, oh, that bucket, that metal bucket across the face. Could this one be enough? He goes for the cover. Two, no. Wall at the last second kicks out. And a low blow from Jackson Law. Has Shane Shaw reeling now? Wall rolls to the outside of the ring. The damage has been done to both men. Who's going to take that last blow that's going to cost him the man? Oh my God. What the hell? 
He packed his fist with a roll of tape and punched Shane Shaw right in the face. And now, oh, he's got that Billy Club, that nightstick. And smashes Shane Shaw in the face. And the fans showing their displeasure for Jackson Law. Shade Shaw now up on the apron. And Jackson Law, no, 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 no. Oh, my God. Jackson Law with the stapler. Stapling the face of Shade Shaw. Oh, and that stapler across the back. Oh my god! I knew this was going to be no disqualification, ladies and gentlemen, but this was not what I was expecting for our main event here tonight on Vortex. And Law now has that metal bucket. What does he have in mind here? Oh! With that metal bucket. Goes for the cover. One, two. Shot to the bottom rope. Let's see the bucket shot again. My God. Just rock Shane Shaw with a drop kick. And the crowd is firmly behind Shane Shaw here. Oh, huge uppercut from Jackson Law. Low well, now bringing Shane Shaw back into the corner. What could Jackson Wall have in mind here? No. He can't be doing this. Is Jackson Wall going to attempt a coast to coast? No, I didn't think so. Faking the fans out. What a cocky, arrogant man Jackson Wall is. As now he's got that boot draped across the throat. And a drop kick from Shaw did not take Law off his feet. Oh, that's security. That took Law down. Can't see Shaw capitalize. Can he get the pinfall here over Jackson Law? He's inching closer, but he's running out of time, and there it is. Law now back to his feet. Law DDT. DDT to Shane Shaw has him rocked here. And no. Jackson Law dead ID. Is that going to be it? One, two, and it is a hard-fought match by Shane Shaw here tonight, but it was not his night. Jackson Law, the EBW champion, will prevail and defeat Shane Shaw. What an epic match here on Vortex. Law of the land, the most elite EBW champion ever. Elite of the elite. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go back to the studio with Fletch. There you have it. Our first XCW Vortex down the hatch. An epic match between Tommy the Man Merriman and the resident Scarecrow of XCW, DJ Wolbert, in an instant classic. And then an absolute hardcore banger between Shane Shaw and the Law of the Land, the EBW champion, Jackson Law. And we're just getting started here on XCW Vortex. We're going to be here 
each and every bi-weekly on XC Wrestling 1. Of course, you just seen Take Over the World last week. Now here we are at Vortex. Coming up next week, we have XCW Glory, the 21st anniversary, followed by, you guessed it, another episode of XCW Vortex. But until then, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me in this Eye of the Storm. And we will see you next time on XCW Vortex. <laughs>